Hey guys, Dee from Dee's Divine Guidance here for the sign of Virgo for get over your ex and why you're stuck. Uh, the monthlies are up, so you can check that out with the tarot and the healing messages or the healing session. So a lot of people are liking that. So check that out if you haven't already. Um, but we just got over the five days, get over your ex in the Facebook group. And I wanted to come on here and kind of just do this spread for anybody that is stuck on their ex, um, how to move forward and just bring awareness more. But the five day challenge is over, but you can still get it, um, for the next week or so. And then the videos are going to be taken down. So if you're interested in getting over your ex and really kind of moving forward, go ahead and sign up. The link is in the description as well as in the comments. All right, and I also go live over there like three times a week. So if you're looking for guidance or anything else as well, spiritual stuff, um, you want to meet me over there. Today was Make It Happen Mondays, so um, awesome stuff. All right, so today we're going to talk about the relationship. We're going to talk about them. We're going to talk about you. We're going to talk about why you're stuck and how to move forward. Okay, so the relationship here, the Nine of Pentacles and the Magician. So let's see. So I'm getting with these cards here is that you might have felt like yourself. You might have felt good. You might have felt more independent in this relationship. And again, remember this is general reading, so take what resonates, leave what doesn't. You can check out your moon and rising signs on these as well to see if they resonate better. Um, but with this Nine of Pentacles, the Nine of Pentacles is like my single card. So in this relationship, there might have been someone that was, and the magician here, like more powerful, more like wasn't all in, maybe focused on themselves a little bit more than on the other person and kind of growing and expanding um, and maybe kind of wanted to be more independent than the other person. So this could have been a narcissistic codependent relationship as well, because, you know, you have the narcissist and then you have the codependent, which, which would kind of just, you know, give in to the narcissist all the time. And the magician, you know, the magician in a relationship spread is more like a player. So there could have been someone here that was kind of playing the field, uh, while you were with them, um, or just kind of manipulating and playing you or you playing them, whichever the way it goes, the energies could be reversed, but this is them. So I'm assuming that, yeah, they, they are the magician here. They were the ones that kind of, I feel like they were just all about them and they were taking a journey here with the full card of just like, it is what it is and whatever happens, happens and wasn't fully committed with the emperor here. It's like, you know, he's the powerful one. So with this over here, that makes sense that your ex would have been like maybe the one with the power. So you were kind of trying to make everything work and get everything good and giving them what they want so that they would stay. Um, but I feel like with or without you, it wasn't going to happen because they were on their own journey and it didn't matter who was in their way or who was attached to them. They were still moving forward with or without anybody with them is what I'm getting there. And then we have your, your side over here and you've got the five of swords and the ace of cups. And I feel like you feel backstabbed here because you thought that this was a brand new beginning, a beginning of something beautiful and a beginning of something long term. But somebody kind of stabbed you in the back and left you a little confused, maybe a lot of confused. Um, but they took something from you. They took that fantasy. They took that, you know, that vision of what you guys were going to have in the future. I feel like they took that from you. Okay. So why are we stuck? Well, <laughs> why are we stuck after that? They took something from you. They took your future, right? Like, why do we really, what is that? Yeah, it, it's all, I feel like it's all about the future here. Yeah, so I feel you got the world and you got the four of swords. So they were definitely, you know, you had that vision. You had that fantasy of what your life was going to be. And I feel like they left you out in the cold. They kind of just left you. And you were wasn't expect you weren't expecting it, and you kind of just laid like it really hurt you is what I'm getting like you kind of like just laid down and like didn't know what to do, and kind of left you out in the cold there, um, and I feel like they were your world, they you know they kind of made you see things in a different perspective, and you had this vision, and that's why you're stuck. You can't get over that vision. We talk about that in the five day challenge. Um, all right, let's see. How do we move forward? Ah. <laughs> 
to move forward, you've got to take action. You got to take action with that Knight of Swords. You got to go full full force forward and, you know, cut out all the crap. And with the Six of Wands here, it's like you've got to see yourself for who you truly are. Not who they thought you were or who, who you now think you are because of this relationship. I feel as though you need to rise above. This is what the Six of Wands is about is recognition and praise and all of that stuff. But that is for you because this person has made you feel as though you're not good enough. You're not worthy enough. But maybe you're just not the right person for your ex and that's okay. But you've got to take action to get yourself out of the rut that you're in and why you can't get over your ex here, right? But, but it all comes down for you guys to see yourself like you used to see yourself before this relationship because I don't think, I think the person that you were before this relationship is a completely different person than you are now. So rise above recognition, self-love, all of that good stuff. We talk about in the challenge. So if this resonates with you, sign up for the challenge. Like I said, the videos are only going to be up for another week or so. Uh, so therefore, get it while you can. And I hope this resonates. Leave me some comments if you like the spread, how it resonates with you. And also leave me some comments if you want me to do mid-month readings with the Reiki as well as the tarot or just the tarot. Let me know what you guys want, okay? Uh, much love. Subscribe, like, and share these videos with whoever you have. Lots of us have so many friends that cannot get over their ex and cannot move forward. So share it as you will. Much love to all of you, and I will talk to you guys soon. Bye.